Hello everybody and welcome back to Maisie's Garden. I have a message for you. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. Um, my life has been busy. And time management's never been one of my stronger suits. I've always like procrastinated. And honestly, I can't do that anymore. So I've been, again working on certain things for myself and within myself and in my home and just school and working full time, excuse me, going to school and working full time and getting certifications and being a single mom <laughs> and doing it by yourself. Um, I mean, I get, I have family and friends who help tremendously, so I can't say I do it all by myself and I am grateful for that. Amen. Thank you. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah. All right, anyway. What I'm going to do here is I have my bestiary oracle cards. I'm going to pull one of those, and then we're going to see the energy off of that. I'm just shuffling here a little bit. See what kind of collective message comes through. Um, and then this weekend, I'm going to be rolling out a new portion, a new service. Well, it's added on to these. Um, I'm gonna try to get back to effectively doing the Zodiac Weeklies. They will also have extended uh, readings that you can go on Patreon and become a Patreon member and get the extended reading. Um, there's gonna be other things that are gonna be included in the Patreon. Um, but you'll need to subscribe for that. Um, and yeah, so you'll still have your free content, but if you want to dig deeper, if you want to go deeper, there's going to be different types of readings on there as well. Not just, uh, these collective or the Zodiacs. There's going to be all kinds of things. I'm going to have like two different tiers, one for general and then one that's a spicy tier. Cause I do, I do like to get spicy, you know, you know? Yeah, no. All right, anyway. Okay. All right, let's see here, since it's been two minutes. Spirit, what kind of message do we have for the collective? What does the collective need to know through this oracle deck? What does the collective need to know through the oracle spirit, please? There we go. Got it. Oh, I like this one. This one at the bottom of the deck, human, remember forgetting? We're also gonna get on that one too. But this one is sea turtle, find your element. I like this. It's a really, really, really good card. It's beautiful. If you guys can see it without the glare. Um, it's just so colorful, but okay. <clears throat> so with the find your element with the sea turtle card, what I'm kind of getting here without going too deep in, because I am gonna take a little bit from the book. I really like to do that. Um, it's, I feel like it's talking about going and finding what feels like home for you, okay? Because if we think about it, the sea turtle, it it lives in, in the sea, right? The oceans, um, but that's not where it's born. It's born on land in the sand, and then it goes and journeys off to find its home in the ocean, Okay, so maybe needing, you know, find your element. So maybe needing and in, in, in doing a little research for yourself, maybe putting yourself out there and trying new things, going to new destinations, um, really allowing yourself to venture out because oh, oh, kind of what I'm feeling here, especially with the human, remember forgetting, um, <clears throat> maybe you're a little stagnant. Maybe you're a little uh, not feeling like where you are is like where you're meant to be, okay? So go trying to 
find that out, going and finding out where that is, what that is. All right, so the sea turtle says, on the beaches of her birth, sea turtle is frustratingly awkward. She paddles for purchase in the slippery sand, which, which she returns to only lay her eggs. Even this is not a yearly practice. Her homecoming happens once every few years, so she can no longer resist the call of her home beach. The rest of the time, she's a creature of water, smoothing, uh, smoothly swimming great distances and frolicking the sun-drenched ocean. While birth delivered her to the sandy shore, the ancient creature is most herself when out of that element. Water is her true home, the place where she is quick and graceful and joyous. If you feel uncomfortable in your natal family or place of origin, call on sea turtle to help you find your natural element. Yeah, you you might um, have maybe a bigger calling or or you're meant to live in a different place than where you're living or you're meant to be doing your path is bigger than what you're allowing it to be or there's just something of like whatever you're doing now is not quite <clears throat> where you're meant to be or what's for you let's uh remember forgetting this human this one Look how beautiful, like these cards are, the, the illustrations are so intricate and so gorgeous. I just absolutely love them. Look at how pretty that is. Now in, in the mind, before I read this, <clears throat> we've got all kinds of animals coming out and there's birds, there's bats, there's deer, there's snakes, there's a sea, there's a turtle, there's a sea turtle, there's owls, what is, like there's a beaver, a horse, an elephant, like they're a falcon, a, a goose. There's so many things coming out of this, a cat person's head. Okay. And it's coming out of like a book where there's flowers and stuff like that. It says, remember forgetting. If this is going to tie in with each other, finding your element, maybe you need to remember to you know don't always place what your family or your friends expectations or even like you know where you work your co-workers your boss all of those expectations okay your community on you okay don't internalize them as if like they're yours and that that you can't dream bigger, go bigger, try something you've never tried before just because someone in your, you know, like your parents never tried that or that's not what they wanted for you or, you know, um, being innovative at work and it's, and it's not because, it, you know, they, they're kind of against it because they've never tried it before. But again, it's like you never tried it before, huh? So how do you know it doesn't work? So don't let, you know, just intuitively before I read this, <clears throat> and I've actually never read this one before so I I don't know what this one actually is gonna say but don't let other people's perception on on their life or how you should live your life or anything like that okay so remember forgetting it's like for remember to forget that those expectations aren't like they're not yours you don't have to do whatever it is they're asking of you or or what they think you know however that resonates for you it says all right let's see what how, what this says okay it says someday when the animals gather to tell the tales of being they will say remember when humans went through the great forgetting they forgot they were one of us they forgot we are brothers and sisters they forgot they are two of the earth the animals will shake their heads and ruffle their feathers remembering the shift in near catastrophic destruction the humans caused in the throes of their forgetting. Even now, humans know there's something missing, something lost. We live our lives with a nagging nostalgia, longing for something we can't quite name. What is it that you are forgetting? Okay, I love this because these two very much, they're giving the same thing. Oh, and make manifest underneath it means put in the work because you can manifest what you want. All right, this is about you knowing that your path is bigger, okay? And I'm going to get tarot just to like lock this in, but this is about like you knowing your path is bigger, you knowing that <clears throat> where you are right now is not like end game for you. It's not where you're meant to settle. It's not where you're meant to be. So moving on from that, you might have to put in a little bit of due diligence and you might have to like, build yourself up a little bit. 
with the make manifest because it's the beaver and they make up the dams, right? Um, putting a little bit of effort, a little bit of consistency. I think you can do it though. Um, your intuition is calling, okay? And you just, you gotta, you gotta listen to that little voice is what I'm hearing. You gotta listen to the little voice. All right. Let's see what the tarot says to back this up, shall we? Spirit, tell me about find your element sea turtle, please. Tell me about find your element sea turtle, please. Say no to that, but this definitely okay. What is this? Wow, interesting. All right, all right. If you're conflicted about doing something that you absolutely love, um, maybe building your own business. Uh, something it's like a you know it could be like a passion project or something that you really love inside like it's it's your calling it makes you emotional you connect to it you're passionate about it when you talk about it you could be conflicted if it's going to be lucrative for you or if it's going to give you the wealth or if it's you know I feel like that's where where you know maybe some of your hesitation is um because I do see a little bit of hesitation um, and conflict. Again, you might be getting opinions from other people, you know, family, friends, like, oh, you could never make a career out of that. There's no way that you could um, be stable in that or, or provide for yourself. There's no way that that business is going to, you can solely, you know, uh, be, be able to pay for everything or financially provide for yourself based just off of that. So I feel like maybe you're a little conflicted. There's too many outside noises that's causing this conflict, but it's something you love. It is something that you love. And I think that if you go within, you do a little bit of introspection, you block all the noise out with the hermit card here. You block out what everybody else is saying because you're like, you know what? This is a self journey. This is this is what was meant for me. This is my path. This is what uh, these talents, these gifts is what what you know, God, the universe gave to me. This is the contract that I signed. Okay. This is what I'm meant to do here on this life. Well, on this planet, in this life. Okay. Um, justice card. That's what brings in the balance. That's what brings in, you know, all the things that are due for you. Oh, for sure. That's, that's your perspective needs to shift. You need to block out. I'm, I'm heavily getting, you need to block out whatever anybody's saying to you, especially if like there's something you're really passionate about and you want to like open it up as your own business. I have the emperor and the king of cups here. Okay. It's something that you absolutely love and it, you could build with it. 10 of pentacles. That's generational wealth. You could pass that on, on down your family line. It's something that you'll be comfortable set up for the rest of your life. I think you just need to do a little bit of internal work in order to really get there and see that it can work. That, that it is what's due, like you're due for this. I keep hearing like you're due for this. Oh my God, the star at the bottom. Of, yeah, star at the bottom of the deck with the page of wands. Absolutely. And the nine of pentacles. Absolutely. You can do this and you don't need anybody else's help to do it. That's another thing. The emperor, the hermit, justice, nine of pentacles. This is, this is getting a, a really great opportunity, being able to build up your finances, being able to really stand on your own and, and do what it is. This is my pre empress card, pre empress energy guys. Use your intuition big time. You know what you're supposed to be doing. I said this in the beginning. Follow your intuition because under the nine of pentacles is the moon. You need to follow your intuition. And yeah, it may it may seem like you're walking in the dark here because again, I feel like nobody's done this. Nobody's done this before. Maybe like in your family, in your friends, 
at your job, whatever. Okay, nobody's done what you're about to try to pull off before. And so you don't have a point of reference for this. So you're kind of going in blind, all right? The hermit card though, you see that lantern? The universe is always gonna guide you. Even if you can't see what's in front of you, there's a light, there's a guiding light. The star, the guiding light. You guys might be, might, might end up in the spotlight a little bit here. The opportunity, I really do think you're gonna have a really great opportunity to build this up. And I feel like it starts happening the moment that you accept, okay, this is, this is what I'm meant for. This is what's meant to happen. Wow. Wow. All right, spirit. Tell me about remember forgetting. Even though I feel like all that just kind of, it's a, I'm just going to quickly just like, Two to three cards, spirit. Just give me a little bit of a confirmation on remember forgetting human. Two to three cards, please. There's two. Three of swords, ten of wands. You, you're literally breaking your own heart and creating your own burdens and, and all the sadness and, and possible depression and just feeling weighed and bogged down because you're ignoring your calling or you're ignoring like what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Ace of swords, bottom of the deck. It's the truth. You're going to get this clarity because you're not following your intuition. You're, you're creating your own heartbreak and struggles and, and burdens and all of that stuff. And, and that's really the truth. I don't know what you were waiting on. I don't know if you're like waiting on money in some way, but you know, one more card, please. Yep. Out of fear, nine of swords. You are doing this to yourself. This is self-imposed because you're not following what you're meant to be doing. You're not following, you're, you're like choosing to not remember what your path is in this lifetime, even though spirit, the universe, God has shown you so many times or it has made it so apparent that this is what you're supposed to be doing, okay? But you're creating your own like heartbreak, depression, sadness, anxiety, uh, burdens. And, and it's all based off of fear. Like you're afraid that you're not going to, um, you're not going to like do well. But page of pentacles, queen of cups, Listen, put a little, little bit of effort, put a little bit of work into it, and you're going to see how much this flourishes. You know, pour love into the effort that you're doing. Pour love into what it is you actually love. Okay, guys, pour into that. Didn't mean for this to go this long, but whatever. Message needed to come out for whoever this is meant for. You guys need to make the decision and go for it and go for it with your whole heart. Okay, because I, I just, I feel like the justice is there. You're going to reap what you want to sow, but you're going to continue to reap what you sow if you don't make, you know what I mean? Like you're going to sow the burdens, the depression, the sadness, the, you know, feeling like the regret of like, damn, I should have taken those opportunities or I should have did something with myself when, when it's too late because, you were doing what everybody else was telling you to do or you weren't taking that initiative based off fear because you feel like you can't see where you're going there's a guiding light spirit spirit says hey you and your intuition over here hello we've been talking to you you already know what to do hello don't let any of your toxic habits stagnancy procrastination Fear, negative thoughts trick you, okay, out of doing this because that's what the lower vibrational devilish like energy wants. It doesn't want you to step into your purpose. When you step into your purpose, you're a high vibrational being. You're doing what you're meant to do here on this world. It raises the collective consciousness when you do that. 
They, the lower vibes don't want that. Guys, don't let, please don't let indecision, stagnation, laziness, bad habits, negative, negative thoughts, fear, talk you out of doing something that you're meant to do. Crush that shit. That's what I heard. Crush that shit. Like a bug. <laughs> okay. Because you could get what you want. And this had popped out, but it was like sideways. Not really came out. You have what it takes. Tame the beast that's telling you that you can't do it. Because you can. You're going to get what you wish for. It's going to be wish fulfillment and it's going to be lucrative. You got to put some effort into it though. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that reading. I hope you got something out of it. If you guys need any personal readings, please feel free to message me. We can book them. The link is in the description. Um, and I'll see you guys this weekend with some more readings and some extra stuff and extendeds and all that. All right, I love you guys so much. Goodbye.